So here we are on a little more private Nürburgring. <laughs> and the Tuono is doing great. The only thing we have is this dark big seam in the center of the road. 45 miles an hour. I paid for the privilege to go a little bit faster through here. We're not going as fast as we we're not going to go as fast as we possibly can because after all, we have to maintain decorum and our driver's licenses. But uh, we are going to have a bit of fun anyhow. Oh, nuts! And there you are, you little dickens. Ah, thank you. Quite nice. May you thrive in prosperity and peace forever. We're not getting in the way of our private Nürburgring experience. <laughs> Here we go. And yet. So while we're stuck behind some slow traffic here, and maybe I can make some random comments that might make it into another tape, won't make it into the Nürburgring tape. But um, I will say that uh, personally, I have driven at the Nürburgring in Germany in a little uh, rental BMW race car. It is fascinating. Uh, the whole experience is pretty cool. You really pay per lap and uh, literally anything can go on the track. The only uh, limitations are your skills and the insurance coverage that you have. That's uh, literally the only thing. And uh, that was a little diavel. Not little, they are not little. But, uh, so that's the only limitations you can go, and they do. They bring everything. They bring uh, vans. They bring uh, car, little sedans with grandma and granddad and the whole family in a picnic basket. And they say, hey kids, do you want to go see where Tazio Nuvolare drove? Or um, Richard Seaman, or any of the greats of the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s? And they all say, yeah, Dad, let's go. And they do. They get on. So you're whipping around there. And you've got uh, this uh, traffic that you have to contend with that's slow, very slow, and sightseeing in front of you. At the same time, there could be a guy on a, a World Superbike class uh, sport bike just absolutely, as the English say, ear-holing around a corner. And... Uh, that guy will come out of nowhere and scare the poop out of you. Or uh, the day we were there, there was this really awesome, uh, I'm an old Porsche guy, really awesome uh, GT3 Porsche, modified and uh, howling, howling at about 7,000 RPM around the Nürburgring. And of course, he blew our doors off twice <laughs> going around the track. And uh, you just got to be aware that people are in front and behind you. And the typical day at the Nürburgring goes like um, you have a uh, bunch of people out there. Somebody crashes during the course of the day. They close the course and about uh, three and ten times decide that they've got to close it for the day because there's bits and pieces all over somebody's been grievously, grievously injured or uh, indeed uh, that there's oil <coughs> pardon me all over the track that they've got to take care of so that's the typical pattern and in fact that's what happened to us on that day it was a uh, sorry folks it was a Porsche one of my favorite brands and the guy managed to spin around and spin through some stuff and wipe off the oil pan they're dry sump but they'll pump 
<laughs> and he managed to unload about eight quarts of oil about a mile, well not a mile, I'm going to say half mile of track. Uh, which is almost comical. But, uh, so, and I, I don't know what the liabilities are there. I don't know if you have to pay for the cleanup crew or however that goes, but it's all very private enterprise. Never happened in the United States because, of course, liability, even if you signed a waiver, which you do there, you say, if I kill myself, I promise not to be sorry about it, and I promise not to uh, try to sue the state of, I forget what state it's in, but uh, you do sign a waiver, but uh, there, they hold up. Here in the United States, someone would say something like, well, they didn't have informed consent. They didn't know what they were si signing. But uh, haven't said that. Put it on your bucket list and get over there and ride the real Nürburgring. Okay, we're back in Whistle Vistas. That's enough rambling about riding the Nürburgring.